Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. With our focus on school gardening this week, it's nice to have the opportunity to chat about how our parents, grandparents, or other relatives may have encouraged our love of gardening from a very young age. For me, it was my grandmother with her vegetable garden when I was in elementary school. Although my parents, unwittingly, may have sent me a bit in the opposite direction by making me pull weeds when I was in junior high. Being from the Victory Garden generation, my grandmother grew much of her own food, including a fair number of vegetables that I wasn't too keen on until I was an adult. And poke salad, one of her favorites, I still haven't learned to appreciate. Even tomatoes weren't my favorites until much later. But no, it was definitely her sweet corn that I have the fondest memories of. And even though it was definitely the sweetest corn in the whole wide world, at least to me, that's not why I remember it so vividly. It was the fact that she grew it just for me, in the face of lack of pollination in our summer Texas heat, and the evil corn earworm, which I always had to share at least half an every ear with, even my family always let me have the bulk of the harvest, since it was more than apparent that my dinnertime excitement when my grandmother's corn was on the menu, corn made me a very happy child. And now, since admittedly I don't grow corn myself, my extended Master Gardener family indulges my fancy, growing corn in our demonstration garden, which I'd like to think they do, especially for me. Our plant this week is borage, Borago officinalis. This annual plant is quite often grown in herb gardens, but as with most herbs, it looks right at home in other places around the landscape. It does easily reseed each spring, so you may need to look for and remove any errant seedlings to keep it where it belongs. Probably not many people use borage in the kitchen, as it has a distinct flavor of cucumbers, probably not a flavor that many non-foodies have a taste for in their repertoire. But one great reason to plant borage is the lovely light purple star-shaped flowers, which are not only beautiful, but also attract bees to the garden, which will be important in pollinating other plants. Borage is definitely most known for those flowers, and although the plant itself may look a little leggy most of the time, the leaves are fuzzy and can add interest when planted rather tightly near other plants to mask their gangly appearance. The drooping flower buds are also quite attractive, and since borage is so easy to grow, it would be a great choice for busy gardeners. Full sun is best, and the more sunlight it gets, the more upright and attractive it'll stay normally getting about a foot and a half tall and equally as wide. Our viewer picture goes to Andrea Fox of Transplant Studio in College Station for her charming okra stalk wreath. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit us at klru.org ctg and on our Facebook page to send us your questions and plants from your garden. Mm -hmm.